Lackey. My god, going straight for the throat like that. Welcome everybody to the multi-generational Rimworld colony led by the Vulcanian Arcoseed himself, Ohm. As it currently sits, we are in the medieval era and our current storyteller is Phoebe Chillax. During yesterday, we began the construction of the mighty castle Ohm, which in hindsight might be a bit too large i desperately wanted to finish this before today and we've ended up with oh, well the walls are done uh but the floors we've actually barely even started on but of course i didn't want you to miss out on all these important character moments from our colonists so we've had two births and a marriage and along with that i've renamed everybody so this is going to be incredibly confusing but Ohm Ohm gets to decide on the names macy has given birth but macy is now known as collateral cleavage and her young child is called atreus Oh, Atreus Stasius. So the, the father of that is, is Stasius, one of our prisoners from yesterday. Moira has also given birth in the cactus field. Oh my. <laughs> I didn't rename this kid. And this kid is called Rio Gravy Plasma. Oh my God, that's incredible. Why Gravy Plasma? Toilet Gravy Plasma, because Toilet Gravy is the child of, the child of Plasma. Oh, that is such a good name. I can't improve on perfection, but I'm going to call them a little gravy plasma so that we don't confuse them with toilet gravy plasma. What's about this freaking cactus field? Why is that so much more appealing to give birth in? Hello? And in even better news, Moira proposed marriage to toilet gravy, and he finally agreed after turning her down yesterday. Just, just leaving the baby in the cactus field, huh? All right. Okay, fine. Omer's made his decision. So to be able to build such a massive stone castle, it's going to take thousands and thousands of pebbles. They've delivered a lot of them. I had everybody working on pebble spots solidly until they basically broke down. And even though a lot of it is delivered, still this bottom section of the castle is completely undelivered to you. How many have we got left? We've got 1,700 pebbles left. Now, somebody sent a letter to Ohm. They said, Dear Ohm, if you're such a kind and nice ruler, why wouldn't you let anyone else use your castle? And I mean, given that Ohm is kind, sure, he might be trauma savant and not be able to hold a conversation, but he's still kind. So I think we could have a huge dining room dedicated to everybody. Maybe even the, the, the castle kitchen could be the place everybody goes to eat. And then this room here, we could turn into a, uh, a community center, maybe even another religious building. But a dedicated room for recreation in, in the middle of the colony would be... I think that'd be pretty nice, like a town hall. And God, we are on Phoebe Chillax because this is going to take an insane amount of time. We've got almost everybody working on it as well with delivery and gathering more pebbles, building. So Omer's renamed everybody in the colony. Always like to give them a little bit of time first so they're not just immediately named and then shot in the head. From yesterday, we have Ethox, Kegvit, Narfulf, Mr. Cake, Collateral Cleavage, Major Bummer, and Stasius, and of course... Bumfrey Hoggart was one of the children that was born yesterday along with the Trace and now Little Gravy. We picked up so many people yesterday. Over half the colony came from just yesterday's episode. I think it's fairly safe to say at this point that whatever Omer's doing, he's doing right. And Hanky Pank's been out here making masterwork after masterwork. Arcadius's firstborn son, look at him go. 18.09 crafting. And he is only 38 too. So he's got many, many more years in him. Yeah, I I'm glad we didn't really adjust the learning speed. This guy's already a master in his field and again he's he's only 38 i'm really hoping we can get to play armor and swordsmithing while we've still got hanky pank around before anything happens to him say old age kicks in a bit too early what do we have access on the research tab uh we've got plant props medieval props not really interesting props though they would make things feel a little bit more alive we have way more important things to be getting first we can get murder holes with defensive buildings which we do already have there so we could build some finally defenses around our castle we've also got writing Construct a writing desk and have your colonists write books to pass on their knowledge to other members of their society. In this case, their children, their descendants. That would be incredible. And this works perfectly with what we've got going on. That way, Hanky Pank could start writing his memoirs in his spare time. And if he has any kids, those can learn from, from him. The knowledge of the Arcadius dynasty passed down generation by generation. I kind of like that. In that case, let's start work on writing. And then I'll take our new researcher... Uh, who is now Major Bummer, and we'll take you off of... Put you on delivery. I increased that. Oh, that's right, construction. And as much as I would like to have Castle Owen built as soon as possible, I think passing on our knowledge to their descendants is, is way better. I think one of our first goals before we aim to finish Castle Ohm might be to get double beds in every room. Because if people become lovers, we're having to take away whatever furniture they've got and build something fresh. So all these old fur beds that we've had since the tribal era, I think it's time to say goodbye to those. 
And let's replace them with the more structurally sound medieval beds. Far more comfortable medieval beds too. Oh my god, that was fast. Another baby. This is what I'm saying. We've got to have some we've got to have some more of these double beds. Oh no, not you too. We, we we haven't we haven't got the capa no we haven't we haven't got the capacity right now. Okay. Uh maybe we're gonna have to start work on a little village outside of the main castle then. There just isn't enough room. That way if we come under attack, all the civilians can run away and hide inside the castle. Maybe a little village over here, like a little farming town would be good. 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 There's another one. Fantastic. I'm getting a tiny bit concerned we're gonna have a disproportionate amount of babies at this rate. New lovers? Stumpy Slycorn and Puke Soup? Stumpy Slycorn charmed Puke Soup by boasting about her own grandparents. Well, Stumpy Slycorn's father is Arcadius, right? She doesn't have any grandparents. <laughs> Maybe that's why. You know, my father was born from nothing at all. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I like that. They both get they both get a chance, even though they're kind of older in life. Another masterwork double bed. Oh, another masterwork piece of clothing there from Hanky Pank. Now, luckily with this, we won't have to worry about kind of a small outside village for quite a while because we'll have plenty of beds to go around. So many people now are, are couples that would probably only fill about half these houses, to be honest. I'm going to put Stumpy on childcare then, given that there are no more prisons to warden, at least for a little while. And we've also got Ethox on childcare as well because he hasn't really got much else to do besides construction. I'm... <laughs> 35% chance that's every single person, uh, the first attempt. I never thought we'd be in this situation where we might end up blowing up Paul Rimwald with an influx of babies, which is a very strange sentence now I've said it out loud. Now all we need is Void to turn back up and thin out some of the numbers. Well, we haven't quite got enough wood and resources to fill every room with a double bed and a crib, but I think that'll probably do for the time being. Not to mention, like I said, everybody's kind of doubled up at this point, so we don't even really need this many beds. Back on them with Castle Ohm. Oh, that doesn't look friendly at all. Well, it flew right past the base and that's all I care about. I thought it was going right for the school then for a second. This is one of the quiet ship chunks that doesn't do anything until we poke it. So we're going to avoid poking it. Much to the sadness, I'm sure, of Arcadius, wherever he is. Writing is complete, but this is a hard choice. We've got bookmaking. Allows us to write just generic kind of skill books outside of their own skill. Metal crafting would allow us to make tools. Wow, that would be incredible. Oh, icebox as well. We could finally keep the freezer cool. Or artisan furniture for Castle Ohm. It's a really hard choice. I think I have to go metal crafting though. Street lamps would be so cool spread around the city. Not to mention keeping all this corn together rather than <laughs> rather, losing 10,000 corn in one fell swoop would, would be pretty terrible. We also get caltrops, which we can use to uh, scatter outside the city and watch as the children throw themselves onto it. If Clan Arcadius are going to end up being the kind of colony crafters, the great forgers, we might have to build them a proper smithy. Oh, do we have any obsidian left? Oh, as an homage to Arcadius, that'd be quite nice to get some, get some ruined columns in what is going to be the great hall of Castle Ohm. We've got... We've got 69 obsidian left. <laughs> Arcadius! God damn it. This is, all, this is all just some sort of sick cosmic game to him, isn't it? <laughs> this place is kind of messy. I wish I didn't have to look at this. Well, I suppose at least it's not a cactus field this time. Little Babby Alicia Gravy Plasma. That's an incredible name. Now look, I'm well aware of Racy Susan is not an appropriate name for a child. I have very few female names left on my list. And the alternative is Sister Lister, the Sister Fister. Which is way worse than Racy Susan. I wish they would just, like, go the fuck to bed when they're, like, heavily pregnant. Another one? Ivy. Little Ivy. Ivy E. Pank. <laughs> Ivy E is like a, is like a high tier name. I almost don't want to rename you. We're going to call you Cassandra. I think that's an appropriate one. Wow. What the hell happened that night, eh? We've got sugar. Hello. Uh, why is Racy Susan... That's the wrong baby. Oh, you put it in the wrong place. <laughs> Whose man's is this? Toilet Gravy and Moira's. Uh, Toilet Gravy and Moira are here, unowned. Right, that's for that's for Racy Susan. There we go. Oh, there's actually a reason to do that. I was just keeping them in the same room as their parents for kind of story purposes, but no, they do actually get a bonus when they're near their mum and dad. Oh, well, that's, that's good. There are some very cursed connotations about being able to designate a crib as for prisoners. Okay, no more. <laughs> <laughs> no more, for God's sake. Dairy Queen Bordoon. And even though they are only 
age of baby. Oh my god, age seven hours. I've never seen that before. They apparently only play by their own rules and will roll their eyes and take it easy while doing any task they've been forced to do. And that's why you're staying in the sand. Well, as much as I love to decorate this place that we spent hours building at this point, I've got anything to decorate it with. I don't want to use silver, gold, steel, plasteel, or bone to decorate the dining room. And I'm not even sure I know what phaserium is. I need a quarry. If we could have a quarry, that would be incredible. Gunpowder, advanced bows, bows, or farming techniques. This is going to happen. We're not using range weapons, right? So eventually, we're just going to be left with only range weapon research. Let's go farming techniques, because at least that has some sort of application. Oh, shit. What did you just build? We've got a stone table masterwork and a, a legendary stone stool. Thank you, Ohm. Wow, it's worth a 158. <laughs> <laughs> oh! My castle! I, I've spent so long on that! Oh, and an animatory died. Good! Good, thank you. Thank you for that. That's another two episodes worth of work. On the plus side, we now know scarecrows. Can we get a scare meteor? Fucking got him. Let's take, uh, let's take basic smelting. Of course we have to take basic smelting, right? We, we've started working on the smithy. Uh, we have no, no wood. So, I mean, we're kind of limited in what we can actually do. You know, for a fact, one day we're going to get a meteor dropping on this place. And there's nothing we're going to be able to do to stop it. <gasps> what? How long have we had quarries? Was it, was it under metal working? Well, shit, I'm going to have to check the research tree now if I can... <laughs> if I can find it. As a quick aside, someone pointed out there is a way to use research tree with semi-random research. I'll make sure that's in the... Uh, installation update video I'm going to upload hopefully later today. The only result for quarry, though, is quarry, which we don't have yet. That's to take rock chunks or coal. Are you telling me we've always been able to build quarries? No. Maybe? Let's try, let's try mini quarry. I'm an, I'm, I'm a fool. If I spelled quarry wrong, I'm, I'm, I'm being gaslit. I'm being gaslit by Rimworld. Hey, good news. We can build quarries. <laughs> what the f what's going on? Oh, gee, I wonder where all the ancient dangers could be, eh? <laughs> I want to put it down as convenient to the base as possible. To be honest, here would make a lot of sense. Put down a mini quarry there. Uh, we're only missing like two blocks if we put it exactly there. I think that's probably the best one to go for. And then they can walk into the base pretty conveniently. We've got the... Well, we'll be a tiny little blacksmith here. We'll build them a proper grand blacksmith at some stage. <laughs> yes, we will put the six-year-old in the quarry. All this dangerous child labor will be perfect practice for the industrial era. Probably wondering, what incredible things can we smith now that we are in the medieval era and have access to a quarry? Uh, hand, hand tools. <laughs> Wait, the forge connects to things. Look. Work speed factor 11%. So we have to put the crafting station and the... Oh, and a tool cabinet. Oh, I mean, fair enough. We could do that. Oh, shit. The frogs. They're quite a difficult one, aren't they? They're like the harder medieval faction. Yeah, the fallen stars. Look at this, though. Is that a... So they've got crossbows. They've got explosive pots. Molotovs. Dual wielding molotovs. Flash grenades. That seems a little bit advanced. We have a slight glaring problem. Uh, that's the... A hole in the wall caused by that friggin' meteor. Get that baby to bed. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> <sighs> Awful language for a two-year-old. Oh, look at this. Half are going this way. And by half, I mean nine. And ten are going this way. We've got, not including the child, we've got 12 people on this side. It's going to be a lot harder to fight over here because they can obviously go in through various different points. I'm thinking just home on this door. They're in the tower. They're in the tower. Can they get to us from there? So they can come from down here if they go all the way around. They're, they're firing. Uh, let's fight them in the garden. Come to the courtyard. Oh! Tiny toddler. That's... That's fucked. Upper back destroyed. What? Ooh, that's bad. Okay. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, shit. That's frustrating. All right. Well, this is the problem with... <laughs> Melee only, I assume. Don't you dare. I thought he was about to firebomb that child. They've got gun links as well. So the Fallen Stars are essentially a, as, as I understand it, kind of a futuristic nation that got set back to the tribal era. So they do have some things. 
This is going to be quite tricky. How are we looking on this side, Om? I mean, that's fine. If they want to queue up for an ass beating, that makes it very easy for us. Get them. They're here. Get them. This is for tiny little DQ. Please don't firebomb my things. They're going for it. Was that a sidecast? Well, they've got access to bloody sidecasts as well. Jesus, this is a bit one-sided. Finley's down. Gunlink. I mean, we can't use it, but what else have we got? Who, who sidecasted? You. You sidecasted a child? That's all sorts of fucked up. Please get out of the way. Oh, we need, we need some sort of, you know, we need, we need like an emergency bunker for, for the children. Oh, my sheepos. How are we doing, squad? We're doing okay. Yeah, this is going fine. This is going fine. Oh, my lamb. How dare you? I thought there was a person then. I don't really care about the, <laughs> the lamb too much, to be honest. Nice. Great work. Lamb two is dead. Unsurprisingly. What is that? Fucking Red Bull. It does make you extremely violent. Whitehead's over there. Why don't we, uh, how, how are you doing? Four hours for Janosch. Uh, Doctor. Mr. Cake. Dr. Cake. Stabilize Janosch. How's the child? 10 hours. A, a baby being shot in the back by a crossbow bolt and bleeding out in 10 hours is... I mean, that's fairly impressive. Get him. We could run round, but... Oh, we can just push past? No, we, we can't. We could go all the way around, but I feel like it's probably not worth it. By the time they get there, they're obviously going to be dead. Round one is dead. Um, how's it going? You're holding the line here. He is, but it's a, it's a slow burn. Well, I mean, it will be in a minute if those Molotovs go up. Puke Soup's finally awake. My fucking, all of my sheep. Puke Soup's probably going to get hit by those crossbow bolts. Yeah, kind of. Okay. Okay, get out there. Get out there and help Puke Soup. Go. Are you okay? 12 hours. Nope, you're not okay. Nice, nice. Might be a little bit too late. Uh, everything's on fire. How are we doing, Ohm? What is that? Was that the, that's the Molotov's about to go up. Uh, Kipos, maybe hide. Ohm, stabilize Puke Soup. I think this is the last one of the Raiders. Wow, they got a... Oh, the children! Kill. Get him. Get him, tiny children. <laughs> the fuck did you even get through? I don't know where you came from. How you doing? Bleeding out 17 hours. Oh, I know, I know, I know. We've got a lot of people to save, okay? But should we just forget about the fire? Let it burn. Forget about the fire. We, we can't save everybody and also focus on dealing with that. Oh, no. The children are being beaten. Well, unless, of course, the children beat... Graza, which would just be embarrassing. The... Why did you change paths, you weird man? EQ is fine. Little, gra little gravy plasma was on it. They're retreating? <laughs> ah, no, I don't think you get it. You don't get to leave. You don't You don't kick a load of children and then get to walk away. Okay, I think everybody's going to be fine. You've lost a limb. you lost a leg. Wow, these people are fucking awful. They're awful. Can you do that? You can't do that on account of being a child. Little gravy can do it, though. Thank you, little gravy. What a mess. Well, we lost the entire livestock area. So I guess we'll um, should probably stop sowing that one. I think we've really just got a bank on the rain to kick in. There's no way we're going to control all of that. It's not, worth it. it's not worth the gamble of the burns. Run home. Run, run, run. Stacius, you're not going to die on me. Okay, good, good, good. What did you lose then? Oh, it was a leg cut off. Okay, fair enough. How are we looking? Collateral also needs tending. Three hours. At least we've got three doctors in the colony. One of them, though, is a, a child in training. Okay, nice. And then who else have we got here? So you two are good. As for damage then. I mean, shit, we've lost a lot of limbs again. Pukes, was about to be tended by that child. Is everybody else okay? Hanky Pank needs a little bit of taming. So does Janosch. Besides that, we're fine. It's just bruises. I mean, bruises and missing limbs. <laughs> Looks like a headless child. Are you, you, you all right? Didn't the last raid get through the walls because of a bloody meteor as well? It hit here and knocked it all out. We need to, like, thicken up these walls. Three meteors drop every single time. When it when the, when the meteor shockwave hits the wall, it stops. It doesn't go out beyond that. So if we make the outside wall three blocks thick, we could be meteor proof until it probably lands right here. Okay, everybody's being tended. Ohm, Mr. Cake, and Tiny Child, whatever your name is. Little Gravy, there you are. Little Gravy is tending to them. Little Gravy has a double passion in medical, so I thought they were pretty good to train up early on into a really, really good doctor in case something happened. There's me waiting for the rain uh, in a desert. In a desert. Probably not the... <laughs> Probably not the brightest idea. Operation save the cactuses. Get in there. We need wood so desperately. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to manually fight all of these. There we go. There we go. Fuck you, nature. Oh, my other cactuses too. Okay. Okay, well done, everyone. Take the day off. Well, looks as if we just got a 
bunch of new quarry workers. <laughs> oh my god. Arcadius. What have we done to upset you, Arcadius? Sky has gone red, there's lightning, and all they can hear is screaming. Driving people towards insanity. Well, the biggest insanity of all is Hanky Pank, who has decided to go and kick some beta polyscale boots, which have 65,000 hit points. Uh, so he's going to be there for quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested, we have got a mod now that makes it so Alpha Poly, Beta Poly can't be used to stuff like medieval items. Because if a raider turns up at your base with an Alpha Poly sword, you're probably done for. Even poor Rome couldn't stand up to such reckless hate. Oh, there we go. Hey, we can begin the Lincoln ritual. This is level 5 for Rome, right? There are some really, really good level 5 silence with the additional silence mod. One of them even allows you to regrow limbs. Come on, Ohm. Come on, get the limb one. That would be so good right now. Okay. Silent gained Ohm. He now has upgraded psychic powers. And... Berserk. Berserk. Berserk is very good. I really won't complain about Berserk at all. That's fantastic. That's really gained 40 psi focus cost. 4%, so if we wanted to, we could cast that three times. That's really, really good. Wow. Stumpy has reached 60. Oh my god. We're getting close to the end of the second generation. I mean, we have built a pretty ridiculous base, though. For those of you curious what the family tree looks like, uh, the answer to that is a friggin' mess. So, red is direct blood relation, green lines are friends, and blue lines are marriages. We've got three major families in the colony right now. We have this family over here, collateral and... Stasius with their two kids, Sugar and Atreus. Then in this one up here, we have Moira, Toilet Gravy, and their kids, Lord Gravy Plasma, Racy Susan, and Bumfrey Hoggart. Then we have the Arcadius clan down here. So even though Stumpy Slaghorn is a child of Arcadius, it doesn't show half blood relatives, which is a little bit misleading because she is related to, well, she's obviously the sister of Hanky Pank and Kippos and Janosch, but it doesn't show up. So it looks as if she's like completely unrelated. But no, these these all over here are, are blood related. Then you've got Hanky Pank and Kekvit's child, Cassandra. Then Stumpy is married to Puke Soup and their kid is DQ. And then there's poor Major Bummer, Mr. Cake, Narfulf. Narfulf and Ethox are friends, or at least Narfulf is friends with Ethox. And then Ohm. Poor Lonely Ohm. Lonely. Oh, that's kind of overpowered, but we did work for it. So... When you terraform things, say we dig the sand up, you get an item called sand from it. Similarly, when you take the rocks out of the stony soil that you turn the, the sand into, you get stone from it. Uh, we've obviously done it over here, and we've also done it up here as well. So as a result, we've got just an incredible amount of stone, like a shitload of stone. It turns out you can use it to build furniture out of. Now, not very good furniture, but if you're doing it with, say, a wooden dresser, you'll still get the comfort bonuses from that, even if it is kind of hideous to look at. Although it's only a multiplier of 90%. Shit. Maybe it's got a long time to build. Well, the good news is that means everybody can have some more furniture without having to worry about all those bloody cactuses that friggin' burnt down. What? Left 185? It really isn't that bad. If you do a lot of terraforming, you get a lot of, get a lot of extra shit from it. Who would have guessed? What's going on up here? Playing hoopstone? Oh, they're just having a <laughs> having a day out at the school. All right. You know, I'm starting to think the insane skills mod might be a little overpowered. Ow, a legendary stone end table. That's a game changer. Oh, basic smelting. Melt down and extract metals from all the extra crap that we've got. Oh, hang on. Psychic bloom? Whoa. Holy shit. I was just about to say that probably doesn't work in the desert, but no, it... It really, really does. Flowers. Oh, berry bushes. Trees. Uh, trees, though. That'd be, <laughs> be kind of handy. And new lovers. Hanky Pank and Narfulf. Hanky Pank, weren't you married? Oh, polyamorous. That'll be it. Right. Okay. Uh, Hanky Pank. I thought you were... Daughter, Cassandra. Mother is... Cake oh, they, they were never together. They were never in a relationship. Oh, Devil Strand. We could start growing some Devil Strand. I think if we use this area we had as livestock, because this is all... Oh, it's still stony soil, though. Ah, uh, okay. Now, someone pointed out there is this thing called Primitive Archotech Soil. We can bury Archotech Fragments, and it will turn the soil fertile. The only problem is it's one Archotech Fragment per square, and that's quite a, quite a sizable area. It would be really, really good for something like Devil Strand, any sort of long-growing crop. Trees? 
Be super high tier for that. Oh, there it is. Well, even now the research is finished, I've still no idea where to make plate armor. We've got an improved forge, but there is... There's nothing. Can I make the God King's Throne? Oh. 500 gold, though, so we'll be waiting on that one quite a while. I don't know where we make armor at all, actually. Maybe we still need... Because I vaguely remember from the last time we played Medieval Times, there's kind of like a blacksmith's forge, which has as a kind of anvil and a forge in, in one in one workstation. We do have an armor smithing table from the Kenshi Armory, but it's bloody massive. Uh, let's move that to... Let's put that there for the time being. Need 200 steel. Steel. Oh, I can't see any steel. If we have to quarry for it, it's going to take a very, very long time because there are a lot of different ores in this mod pack. Oh, no. Ah, steel. Not doing so good for food right now on account of the well, fire that was everywhere. Luckily, we were able to subside on the occasional animal herd that turns up. Oh, really? <laughs> ah, really? A gazelle? There we go. Nice. Okay, it's something. Hack stopper jacket. A metal cage armor jacket provides good protection against sharp attacks. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. And then we can also make the hats for that. Or we can make uh, some armored hoods for some kind of heavy ninja dude. <laughs> what do you make that out of? Oh, we could use alloys. Wow. Um, oh, anything. Okay, fair enough. So, are those better than 53.1 sharp, 26.6 blunt? Blunt is relevant when we're getting within melee range all the time, right? Uh, okay, well, the armored hood is... I would say better just because it does give that bit bit more bonus to blunt. We do one per colonist. Oh, that's going to take poor Hanky Panky a very, very long. So, we've got the choice of carpet making. Oh, that would be really nice. But alloy forge, though. That's made by... Epic Guru, the same person who makes Antimatter Annihilation, and more importantly, the Disco mod. So you know this is going to be quality. Wow, this sounds great. Whoa. Uh, Prisoner Containment or Mechanization. That's like early industrial era. Wow. Basic wood fire generators and, and wind turbines. I think for the time being, we've, we've still got a lot of the medieval era, and we'll only get that. That'll basically be the most advanced thing we could ever research in our current era. I think this sounds incredible. And this is a whole new thing for me. I've never used Rimforge before, and it looks so, so good. I guess we could start work on the Great Forge of Clan Arcadius. Maybe ded dedicate an entire room in the castle to it. We're in such a bad position for food right now. With the with the fire that took out the farms, everybody started starving to death. If it wasn't for the Psychic Bloom, we probably would be dead. Because of that, we've got these berry bushes that I've got everybody harvesting, but... Shit, yeah, this is, uh, this is really not ideal. The rice is almost grown. Eat. Eat the berries. I love that you complain that your sleep was disturbed when someone came in to give you berries to stop you starving to death. That's so high tier. It would be way more convenient if we started using the kitchen now. The, the kitchen in the castle, because the, we've got this kind of pathway that we can lead naturally there, and this is way closer to the farm than this room down here. The only problem is, the culinary tab is a little bit, um, a little bit devoid of things. I assume it's all under production. Ah... Uh. Is it, though? Oh! A smithy. I bet that's where you craft up. <laughs> oh, shut up. I was looking for the Medieval Times one, okay? I didn't even think that the base game reward smithy would, would be... <sighs> would be something we had unlocked yet. All right. Fine. Very funny. <clears throat> anyway, is, is there, like, just oven? place to cook food here that I just can't see. I mean, there is quite literally the stone oven. I think the hearth, if I'm not mistaken. You can cook simple meals on it, but what does the stone oven allow us to do right now? It might even be more advanced. Yeah, it, it quite clearly is. Oh, we can do everything with the stone oven. You're really, really just baking berries, huh? Wow, what a fucking meal. We got uh, meat hooks yet. We do. There we are. Let's throw down a few of those as well. In fact, I'll go ahead and replace these with some meat hooks. Just for the occasional herd that comes through. Now, it's been very commonly requested that all of Ohm's outfits throughout time, because it's going to be the one character we get to take from, well, maybe Seller at this rate as well, but the one character we get to take from Primitive all the way through to Arco, maybe, if we survive that long. And I think it would be awesome to have a display for his weapon racks. So, obviously, his, uh, his magic stick right now and his armor. Oh, whoa. I'm so excited to see how this works. Because the, the Antipatter Annihilation mod is is so, so good. And if that's anything to go by, this looks so incredible as well. In order to generate heat and create alloys, must be built adjacent to the heating element. Oh, that's correct. I do read things backwards. 
<laughs> wood fired heating unlock. It's like age appropriate for us as well. And throughout time, you'll get more and more unlocks, which will be. I mean, this is something that could potentially last us the entire playthrough. The strike drone launcher, for example, is probably something that's a bit more appropriate for <laughs> for the spacer era. What I'd really love right now is ice. Um, basic cooking is kind of appropriate. Stew pot is also kind of appropriate. Um, columns? Do we not? I feel like we're already past that. Let's go for a stew pot then. That way, if we ever get into... A mass cooking is just by throwing nutrition into the pot from the food table. I, that would be quite good for if we ever get into a situation like this again. Where everybody's starving to death. We've got a load of just garbage. Chuck it all in and hopefully it'll go a little bit further. Oh, Narfulf is pregnant. Look at that. Narfulf, who, who are you then? Oh, it's Hanky Pank's lover? I don't think they're married. I don't think they got married in the end, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, another child of the Dymos dynasty. It was getting a little, little close there because he's only had a daughter so far, right? Cassandra. Cassandra's the heir to the Arcadius to the Arcadius household right now. Oh, God. Toilet gravy plasma has reached the biological age of 55. They have a congenital heart defect? Oh, well, that's a that's a heart attack waiting to happen. Well, it's 25% efficiency. Wow, that sucks. And new lovers. Cake fit and Mr. Cake. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There you go. We're good. No longer do we have to worry about low food. Oh, look at that. We only have one left. Days worth of food in storage, zero. Ooh. Okay, okay. I don't feel quite so bad because the smithy only has the Kenji armors anyway, and then armor made of bone, which probably isn't that good. Hanky Pank has created Arcotech mass tailored gloves. Oh, shit. That actually... 40. It's worth 40. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they make it sound so impressive? I love our baby ninjas. Oh, that is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Whoa. What is happening, Atreus? <laughs> what, what is going on? Hanky Pank with another masterwork? This guy. Has he got the he's got 20 crafting? Yeah. He's he has succeeded and surpassed Arcadius in every way at this point. Well, I mean I say that he hasn't dropped a solid gold meteor on the base, so. In hindsight? I might make the armor at the smithy instead. The hack stopper jackets are pretty good, but they take 80 cloth each, and we've been able to make three of them with an entire field of cotton. Oh my god, Ohm took the first set of armor. Wow. I kind of like it. The crown with the banner and the armor, it, it, it is feeling very medieval king. You unbelievable piece of shit. <laughs> oh, look at all these things that we can craft now. Ah, <sighs> we can't actually craft void gear. Don't worry about that. Uh, unlocks research plate armor. Yeah, okay. Industrial co- Oh! Oh, castle towers. Reinforced ditches, mine shafts, whatever that is. Oh, we, we can actually go in there and focus on mining chunks. Oh, look at the amount of re- This is our- Okay, look, look, we've already got some plate armor in production. We don't need to worry about that too much. Castle gates, castle towers, castle walls. How can I not go for this? Come, we're actually moving into the late medieval era. Like, we're really, really getting through this. It won't be long before industrial. God, we're moving so fast. To be fair, we've also lost, I mean, dozens of characters at this point. But I think this is a great time to wrap it up for today. We, we've done incredible things. Phoebe has been very, very, very generous. Only a single raid, a single meteorite, flu, starvation. Well, <laughs> well, it gets worse the more I list. But overall, it's been it's been nice not ha being constantly pounded by the raids because we've been able to build castle alone. We've been able to get everybody armored. Ohm looks like a proper medieval king now. I mean, look at the furniture. Everybody's got proper houses with proper furniture. We've got a hospital built. This has been great. Tomorrow, I, I, I have to see what Rimforge does. I'm so excited to play this mod because, like I said, it comes from good pedigree. This sounds like it could be a lot of fun. And we create alloys. So if we really want to min-max things and make not just any armor we can make, because right now I think it's better than nothing, but being able to make specialized armor, when we actually get that plate armor unlocked, we'll be able to craft it out of kind of dense alloys. That's going to keep our people alive so much more. Thank you all for watching. I'm so excited to see what we've got in store tomorrow, because two really cool-looking mods being Castle Walls and Rimforged that I've never used before. I think this is going to look so, so cool. And then, who knows, maybe even moving into the industrial era. As always, a big thank you, of course, to the patrons of that, which I have not have time to produce as much content as I produce. Thank you to Oliver, Lupus, Elite IMP, Sweetsea, Thistlewinds, Ashen Jack, 
Comrade L, Sir Royland, Baldor Hammer, Ethox, Facuna Vasquez, and Anthony Scavuzo for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you guys for making the channel possible, as always. Thank you as well to Catlord, Wide Riot, GV, Mao and Cadalbe, Brennick, Crop Racer, Bobo Bobo, Bo, 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 My Sweaty Rim Rim, <laughs> Warsheep, JC Sly91, Captain Cuba, Infectious, and Green Seuss.